Hi there, and welcome to day one of the Essential Tank Sew Along that is hosted by Fandia Fabrics and Hardware, and the pattern is provided by Patterns for Pirates. This is the pattern we will be using, and as you can see, it has a couple of different options. For this sew along, however, I will be doing the basic tank top option, which is just a straight hem and a normal backed tank top using bands, not binding. So I can't wait to get started and I hope you enjoy our sew along. All right, let's go ahead and get started on the materials that we need. First and foremost, one of the most important materials you will need for this pattern and all garment patterns in the future are your measurements. Please make sure you take your measurements so that you can make the most absolutely fabulous garment for yourself. Patterns are not identical to ready to wear. So if, if you are a small and ready to wear, you might not be a small in a homemade garment. If you need help finding out how to take your measurements, this pattern has a link provided within it that will take you to a site that will teach you how to take your proper measurements. And with those, you can go ahead and figure out which size is the best size for you. Like I said, the best way to go is to use your measurements. Don't guess because we want it to be perfect. The next material that you're gonna want is fabric. This particular pattern requires knit fabric. I am using a cotton lycra fabric from Oh So Pretty Fabric. It has great recovery and it does have four-way stretch. That is a big requirement for this pattern along with other knit patterns is that you want to make sure you have a fabric that has great recovery and great stretch. Most of the patterns, including this one, will have recommendations for fabric within them if you do not know what type of fabric you need. Like I said, this is a knit fabric pattern and my preferred knit fabric is cotton lycra. Now, the next thing you're going to need is your pattern. You can simply download this pattern from the Pattern for Pirates website or simply search it on your favorite web browser and that should bring it right up. Then you can print it out on your at-home printer. And in order to do that, you are going to need to print it to actual size. Don't fit to print. Make sure it is actual size. Test it out. There will be a test square on the papers for you to measure. Make sure that measures up. Print your pattern and grab a preferred method to put it together. I use tape back when I was using paper patterns, but you can also use glue sticks. Now I'm a projector girl. Next, you're gonna want to make sure you have a way to secure your fabrics. I prefer Wonder Clips, or you could also use pins. However, I sew with a, with a serger, and I highly re recommend using the Wonder Clips for that because pins will break your machine and your blades. So if you are using a serger, I highly re recommend grabbing yourself some Wonder Clips. They are fabulous, but if you are confident you can use pins, I am not responsible for any accidents. Next, you are going to want your preferred method of cutting. I use these handy dandy electric scissors. They are my jam but I used to use these beforehand. They are spring-loaded, very easy on the wrist, and great for hand control. And there's also the handy-dandy rotary cutter, which a lot of sewists really like to use. So just grab your preferred method, and that's what you will use to cut out all your fabric. We're also going to need needles for your type of fabric. I am using a serger, so I have overlocker needles, but if you are using a sewing machine, you're going to want to go ahead and get knit needles or jersey needles so that they are the proper needles for your material. I'd also like to suggest grabbing a walking foot for that machine to help feed the 
fabric through your machine properly and not cause any major issues. I don't have one of those pictured since I am sewing on a serger, but you can find them at your local sewing supply store and online. Lastly, you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab some thread. I, like I said, am using a serger, so I use these big thread cones. However, on a regular sewing machine, you're going to want to grab your preferred type of thread for that machine. So that is basically all of the materials that we are going to go ahead and need to get started on this pattern. I hope you have everything together and you are ready. Don't forget, go ahead and read through that whole entire pattern so that you have a better understanding of what we're going to be doing. And let's go ahead and get started with our cutting. All right, let's go ahead and get to cutting. The first thing that I would like to know is that you are going to want to make sure the stretch of your fabric matches what your pattern piece says. If you look at your pattern, you will see that there are lines showing you the grain line of your fabric as well as the stretch of your fabric. Here, my pattern is projected down for my projector because that is my preferred method of sewing. You'll also see I have this washable marker here. It is fantastic if you want to just go ahead and trace your pattern onto your fabric before cutting. I did that this time because I am grading the pattern. This marker is wonderful because it just goes out in the wash, no stains, no nothing. Uh, it works great. This particular tank top that I am making, the person is a little taller than the pattern is made for. Therefore, I had to add height through the bottom as well as the top as well as the middle. If you are going to grade for height, I highly recommend putting the height throughout the pattern so that it isn't just a lengthened shirt. It is a properly fitted shirt that fits the body the way it's meant to be fitted. So once you have that all set up, go ahead and put your paper pattern down. If that's what you're using, use something heavy to keep it in place and go ahead and get to cutting. I, like I said, use my lovely electric scissors. They are fabulous. They are quick. They are a little loud. Um, so just be careful. Go around all those edges and get your pattern pieces cut out. It is as simple as that. So here I just did one piece of the pattern to show you how easy it is to cut it out. And the rest of the pattern pieces are just as simple as that. So go ahead and do this with the rest of your pattern pieces and you should be all good to go. I'm not going to show you guys myself cutting out all of the same pieces because it is essentially the same as what I just showed you. It is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So go ahead and get your last few pieces cut and we will meet back here and go over all of our final pieces before we get ready for assembly. All right, welcome back. You should have all of your pieces cut now, which means you should have five pieces total, starting with a front piece, a back piece, you're gonna have a neck band, as well as two arm bands. And those are all of the pieces required to make this super simple tank top. That is all we're gonna need to get ready to start sewing. And we will meet back here tomorrow to throw it all together. Thank you so much for joining me today.